What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. Never mind this mess, I'm rearranging stuff, but the reason I'm making this video today is to give you an announcement that I am getting back into freelance design, and there's multiple reasons why. But first, before I get into those reasons, check out the portfolio that I'm making right now, mainly within Rive. Um, this is my first portfolio in literally 14 years, and I have to say, it's very exciting. And the reasons why I'm getting excited about getting back into freelance work are, A, I've been getting bored. I'm serious, I've been getting very bored with the same old grind the last 14 or so years, making tutorials, teaching the same old stuff. So it's time to shake things up. Additionally, it's gonna provide me with a lot more insights into what it means to be a developer slash designer in the modern era. And it's also gonna give me a lot more content ideas that I can share with everybody here on the YouTube channel. It's also gonna give me the opportunity to document what I'm doing to get back into freelance design. Now, a lot of you might think it's gonna be super easy for me just because you know I have a big YouTube channel and some people know me, but really, I don't really have actual work. I don't even have work to put into my portfolio yet. I'm not gonna use tutorial projects, so I have to basically start from scratch. And I think that's gonna be a great learning experience for those of you who wanna watch. So going into 2025, you know, the type of work I want to personally tackle are going to be creative style landing pages, but also, and this might be surprising to some of you, I wanna get into work outside of web design. And what will enable me to do that is Rive. So Rive, as I've been talking about the past month or two on this channel, allows designers to work within a single application in order to build user interfaces that can be ported not just for web, but also C++, Unity, Unreal. So, so theoretically, if you understand how to use Rive and you know how to build user interfaces, guess what? You can now design game user interfaces. You could be contracted to be hired to design the VST audio interfaces, which are super, super cool and fun to build, or at least they look fun to build. So I'm gonna be taking on that type of work as well. Now this doesn't mean that I'm done with teaching. This is just going to provide me with an extra avenue from which I can share new ideas and insights as an educator. I spent a long time, probably about 13, 14, 15 years or so working with clients before I even got into this teaching gig. So I'm super excited to get back into the world of freelance design and also use that experience to also share everything that I'm doing with all of you. All right, everybody, that's just a quick update. Hopefully you enjoy watching the channel and you continue to watch the channel because it's about to get much more exciting here in 2025. See you soon.